Hey you service apps, welcome to the Textile Indie YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. Here on YouTube, I share tutorials and inspiration in fiber and textile crafts, things like spinning, knitting, wet felting, natural dyeing, basketry, and others. And I am working on a November vlogging challenge where every day except Saturday and Wednesday, to the best of my ability, I try to put together a vlog and post it here on my YouTube channel. And today's vlog is about my trip to Petaluma, California, where I went on a road trip with my sister to teach a couple workshops at Fiber Circle Studio. We stopped at Dharma Trading Company in San Rafael as we were nearby. We decided to extend our trip down to there. And yeah, ate a lot of good food, had a lot of great conversations with folks in my workshops, and taught a market tote basket and a mini melon basket. It was a lot of fun. So. Well, we are on the road. We made it out the door. We have snow chains for the tires just in case as we're going over a snowy pass. Bailey is taking the first shift driving. Did a bunch of errands. We have the car packed with snacks and extra water and blankets. And let me tell you, you put two over preparers in one car and it ends up packed. setting up to get her macrame plant hanger going and there's this perfect hook on the wall of our hotel so she's attached it to that and Bailey and I are getting ready this morning we're at a hotel and we're headed down to uh, San Rafael California to go visit Dharma Trading Company to do a little filming and explore their retail shop Dharma is a company that I've been purchasing fabric from and dyes from for a number of years and I, uh, when I learned that their shop was uh, pretty close to where I'm teaching this weekend, I couldn't pass up an opportunity to go and visit, so I reached out to the um, shop manager and she is going to allow us to do some filming. So I'm excited to go visit and explore the shop. I have a few projects in mind for materials, I have a few garments that I want to sew for myself and see if they have any yardage in the shop and then maybe check out their dye section and possibly fiber and yarn section. Although I did just purchase a bunch of fibers from Fancy Work Yarn Shop.
going to dinner. Out of our hotel, we've loaded everything up in the car, and now we're walking down to Stellino Pronto to get some coffee and some pastries. Bailey got some amazing pastries from them uh, a couple days ago, and I'm excited to have a few snacks for the ride. and a bag full of pastries. Well, that's a little roundup of our weekend in Petaluma, California. Like this video because it makes my heart happy. Subscribe so that you see other videos that I put out in the month of November and in the future. We have lots of great tutorials and projects coming up and lots in the library. So fun stuff to explore, see, do, and be challenged by. And oh, I have forgotten to do the creative encouragement of the day for several vlogs now definitely want to fit it in here. So let's do it. So today's creative words of encouragement are teaching is learning twice, sharing your knowledge empowers others and deepens your own understanding. And I definitely got a glimpse of that this weekend as I was teaching workshops and just in my teaching endeavors in, in general, because everybody does things slightly differently. I'm constantly learning new ways of leaving a basket or dyeing or wet felting or whatever it is that I happen to be teaching and new ways of looking at it because uh, everybody comes at it from a slightly different place. So even today I was teaching a pine needle basket class and the way that one of my students was holding the pine needle basket was slightly different from the way I was holding it and it ended up impacting how the stitches needed to be stitched, which I hadn't come across before because I always hold it the same way. So it's just cool to have to problem solve and work with each person and where they're at and how they're doing things. So it really is learning twice. So don't be afraid to share what it is you are learning with those around you. Um, maybe if they ask, but it, it's a great way to strengthen your ability to create and know the topic that you are learning because you have to be able to communicate it in a different way. Thanks for joining me in today's vlog. Until tomorrow, happy making. Bye.